Welcome or welcome back to Phoenix Weirdo Gaming. And today, this is the third episode of the Bubble Hotel. As you see. This is hopefully gonna be a series where I talk about my apartment building, also known as the Bubble Hotel. Last episode, we talked about the nature house, and the one before, we talked about the lobby, the pool, the treasure room, all that stuff. So today, we're going to talk about the adventure home. Fun fact, I got this um, inspiration from um, a hotel called the Cherry Hotel that I visited a long time ago in Adopt Me. And I stayed in the adventure home, so I made this, like, this apartment extra special because I wanted to pay tributes to the Cherry Hotel. By the way, if you're one of the makers of the Cherry Hotel, um, that hotel was amazing. Keep it going. So, we enter here. Um, disclaimer, every single apartment here is baby and pet friendly, which means that there's food, pet feeders, bed, showers, everything like that, even for babies. We enter and we immediately have some bookshelves. It's really nice when you walk in. It's just kind of peaceful and has some books. And then, of course, we have a TV because every good house has a TV and a piano. Like I said, pet and baby friendly. So it's really nice. We have the dining table, which I spend way too much money working on. And this nice pet feeder, because I thought this place was pretty empty, so I had to pet feeder. Next we have this kitchen, which is actually one of my favorite. I like, I love this kitchen. It has some water inside the fridge. We have some pizza, and of course a pizza oven, because you don't want to eat raw pizza. Me with 57 raw pizzas. Anywho, um, we'll go back to this giant arrow later, and here we have a little dance place where you can just dance and have fun, and yeah, it has some microphones, and I said that I made this place extra special, so not only do you have pizza, you also have donuts. And we have Book of Adventure. That's like, it looks really bad, but it's not that bad. Here we have this modern thing, which actually cost quite a fortune. Like, wait, I have to check how much it costs now. One hundred forty. Like, it's not that bad, but it's kind of expensive. We also have these two, which together, they cost a fortune. Like, the, just the royal pet bed is literally 300, and the futuristic crib, can't even find it. It's too expensive. Wait, where is it? Here, is 109. That's 409 in this little area told you the adventure home was a bit up and beyond. So here, if we jump on these shelves, I wanted a reason to come up here. So I added some coffee, as well as an extra large computer, which you could turn on and off. And back then I didn't have this coffee, so it was kind of just like a study room, and I really wanted a purpose to come up here. So, yeah. In here, you probably know what I'm gonna say bathroom and we have toilets for toddlers and babies i don't know why i did this i just kind of did and we have toilets for teen adults and kitties because why not these two showers wow did they cost a lot i don't know why i spent so much money on this house like it was literally more than two thousand dollars i feel like those two showers, just one of them, one of them is 175, and I have two for some reason. I'm not going to do the math, but yeah. 
up here. Don't even ask what I was trying to make. I was trying to make a little table where you could just, like, get ready, but it kind of failed. So, I was like, okay, I need a place to come up here. So, I added a bed, but, like, why have a bed in the bathroom? But, just, that bed cost a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Now we go back to the giant arrow, and of course, if you watched the last episode, this is going to be a glitch build. Um, yeah, this is basically just a pet room. I have water, which costs 300, by the way. <laughs> I had literally coffee and water, like, what am I thinking? Okay, we have water, we have three cribs. We have two showers, we have a pet feeder, and of course some pizza. I was planning to add a another pizza oven, but then I was like, you know what? No. I have another dance floor with lights. So, yeah. I know I've been talking kind of fast, but that's the adventure home. Um, I did try to make it as adventure as I can. You kind of have all these different things, like you have the royal, the futuristic, the retro, and everything just kind of matches. So, in the next episode, we're going to talk about the glorious dark home, which I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek. Welcome home. Ho ho ho. And I also want to talk about the ceiling. Wait gonna take a while there the ceiling so um a few episodes back i think like three no like i'm um, one episode back the nature home i asked you guys or was that the first episode of the bubble hotel i don't know but i asked you guys what about this roof and um i kind of checked my comments and yeah i'm just gonna say yeah so i'll add it tomorrow and see how it looks yay by the way i've made a lot of progress on the pool i know that last time was kind of a long time when you saw the pool but now i have i have a shower i have a restroom i have all these changing rooms you probably saw the hot tub before but I have a DJ spot, which is really awesome. I have a lifeguard tower and a diving board. I have money raining from the ceiling. Don't ask, the treasure room is up there. I have this little thing, which I plan to make like some a lounge area for me and my friends. I have a lifeguard relaxation place. And behind here is a little area to sit which I'm not going to reveal, because, yeah, um, that's going to be in a few other glitch builds. I still have the Tiki bar. I actually don't know what was there in the last episode, but I have the menu, and I have the glitch build dining area, which took a while to make. Like, it kind of cost quite a lot of money. These tables are not cheap, especially four of them. Also, these are all my friends' favorite colors. This is my favorite color. This is Cloudy's. This is um, Snowdrop. And this is Dream Girls. So, yeah. I also have a drink here. Well, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you want to see what is behind here, once I finish it, of course, because I'm not done yet, because is anything done in this house? Um... Make sure to like. Have a nice day.